Hey, welcome back to more Project Zomboid. Sorry for the late start. I had some appointments this morning, but I'm all done. And I'm ready to rock and roll. Rashad Howe. The man, the myth, the legend. He's still alive. He's still alive, and he's got more toilet paper than ever. Um, what did we, uh, what did we last do? This I can't remember. What, uh, what is pressing at the moment? What needs to be done? I can't remember. I cannot remember. Uh, do I have a hammer on me? Yep. Got a screwdriver as well. Perfect. Okay, nice. Oh yeah, we were doing some base stuff, weren't we? We were in the middle of securing this downstairs area. Which is actually pretty secure, and I uh, removed all the walls so that we can uh, have some storage and stuff down here if we need it, right? I also put a door here to get outside to the parking lot. Alright, let's take a look at the van. Okay, front right window needs to be replaced. Trunk needs to be repaired. Left tail light, I'm not too worried about. Everything else is looking okay. Uh, the engine uh, is at 70%. I know it's not the best, but um, hey-ho, there you go. What can you do? It's one of those. Okay, what's inside this trailer? Because we're going to use this today. Nothing. It's completely empty. And this trailer, the overall condition is pretty bad. It's 10%. The tires are in really bad uh, condition, and the uh, suspension is in bad condition, and actually the trailer is just in bad condition as well. We can potentially repair this, though, the propane torch and a metal sheet. I don't think I have any metal sheets left, sadly, um, but we can get some, probably just by junking these older cars, right? Maybe I'll do that right now. I'm going to keep the windows closed so we can keep some heat in here. Where is Where are my propane torches? Okay, we're going to fill both of these up. I'm going to need the welder mask as well. Um, nice. Oh, and let me move this down here. Uh, actually, you know what? grab all these put them down here nice how cold is it minus seven right now all right these things are filled up let's put all this stuff here uh, we're going to want to have a quick smoke. I think this can be entirely stripped for parts. We don't really need this, except I could just uninstall this window, right? 79% is pretty good. And I'll uninstall this tail light as well. Perfect. Um, the engine is in great condition. I just need my wrench. So let's uninstall this window and put a. Oh, it's got to be a heavy duty. Okay, never mind. Uh, but this uh, tail light we can uh, we can fix, right? The better light bulb. Just to get it back in the green. Okay. Need my wrench. Got my wrench. Uninstalling windows. Absolutely. Here, let's put this uh, back on here. And let's uh, take the engine parts. Good. And... Let's dismantle this entire car. 
Wonderful. Okay. We didn't get any big metal sheets, though, unfortunately. Uh, we did get six engine parts, though, which uh, we can whack into here. I think Rashad can live like this indefinitely. Yeah, I don't see why not. Okay, up to 76. Pretty good. Alright, this has had it. The battery is missing. There is uh, some... We could take some suspensions and brakes from here. They're still in good condition. But we'll need to take the tires off. Do you know what? I'm just going to dismantle this as well. It's time to clean up the yard. More small sheets. Let's check this one. How do you eat a creme egg? I'll tell you what. Passionately. Okay, I'm going to need to refill my propane torch. And um, I'll also want to drop some metal stuff in here. that all the metal stuff I got? Okay. Alright, perfect. And let's dismantle this as well. Okay, good. More scrap metals for us. <laughs> and a metal bar. All right, so in um, metalworking, cut rear spoiler. Oh, this is all stuff that we can make. So we can make a metal sheet with... Oh, we need metalworking 4 to make a metal sheet. But we can actually make it with uh, small sheets. And combine all these small sheets into one big sheet. And, uh, and do it that way. Alright. Let me put this wrench back. Let's go see if we can do some uh, metalworking quickly. So we're kind of close anyway. I think we did uh, quite a bit of it here already though, didn't we? Around the base. There's not m that much left to do. I mean, we'll get some XP for it by um, stripping down cars, right? No key? Paperclip? And some empty bottles. Is there anything that we can uh, grab in the police station? Yeah, it looks like it. Got a metal pipe. Oh, there's some lockers and stuff in here. Did I take everything out of here? Pretty much. Aha! A metal sheet. Just what the doctor ordered, baby. I don't think you can take uh, this stuff apart. These doors and stuff. You could take these apart, though. Uh, 
a small metal sheet. I think it's reasonably safe to do this here. I'll tell you what, actually. Scrap metal. Okay. I want this. All right. Good enough for now. It's nice and uh this 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 town is pretty clear. I mean, we've we've killed a lot of zombies around here. There's there's not that many left and very few migrate into here as well. Famous last words, watch. I'm about to get bit. Can you dismantle the jail cell and put it in your house? No, it doesn't look like you can. Well, maybe you could pick it up. I'm not sure, actually. Um, let me... Um let me drop this one. Yeah, nice. Okay, we can put some guns on here, which would be really nice. Okay, let's... Uh, let's fix this trailer. So if we repair it with one metal sheet, it, it'll fix it up to 79%. 80%. Good. Okay. So we just need some tires and suspension for trailers. I don't know what kind of suspension we can use. I do have some tires. Maybe the heavy-duty tires will work. Um, I got some heavy-duty tires here. 79 this one is a hundred. Put that in my bag. Okay, let's see if the heavy duty ones work. Heavy duty. Let's see if we can get these heavy. Oh, I might need my um, deflate the tire. I think I need my uh, the jack and stuff, right? Okay, let me drop these tires. Okay, so we can we can do a uh, a standard performance tire type standard. So the heavy duty ones won't uh, fit, but just regular tires will. That's fine. We can take them off that taxi even if we want to, right? All right. Let me put these back. So we got a performance tire standard. Let's drop this one. Um, and a value tire heavy duty, regular tire type heavy duty. Um, what else have we got here? Regular tire, value tire. Yeah, I think we might need to grab uh, another smaller car, right? Just get some normal tires for the old trailer.
No. It is not letting me do this. Maybe it's because the tire needs to be on the ground. Suspension. I don't think the suspension needs to be removed, does it? I know, I don't think you can fix busted tires, no. Do your VODs of Zomboid end up on YouTube? Yes, they're all there. Every single one. Part info. Low condition tire has less friction on the road. Critical lack of condition and pressure can also make the tire burst. Okay, well it's... I guess maybe it just doesn't like the performance tire type standard. For whatever reason. That's really odd. Okay, I'll bring that taxi in and we'll grab the uh, tires off that. Oh, maybe it's because I don't have enough um, inventory space to do it. Let me try this. I probably couldn't pick it up. That's why, right? There we go. All right. Looking good. All right. We'll need some suspension, so we'll need to remove this as well. So these heavy-duty tires... Okay, this tire... These two tires are for the bin. They are in really bad shape. Attention citizens, it has come to my attention that one of you has been doing an absolutely magnificent on restoring a beautiful van and trailer. Yes. I hope everyone will join me in congratulating Agnes on a job well done. Oh, for a true inspiration at her age. Ver truly, yes. How does she, how does she do it? I wonder. I'm wondering all the time. How how does she do it? It's crazy. It is it's crazy to to think how just how good she actually is at stuff okay this heavy duty tire needs to go back into the shed and let me just drop the jack and the lug wrench because they're heavy as hell and i don't need to carry them around we're getting pretty tired i'm uh, i'm sorry i'm getting myself set up so that we can go and uh loot we need uh we need well ammo we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go clear out the rest of Rosewood, I think, first. We're gonna go loot all the houses, but we're gonna uh, we're gonna overnight there. So we got to do some preparation before we go. We're gonna knock out the stairs in a house, make it a temporary base, eat uh, some of our canned food. We'll take a bunch with us and uh, and sleep there every night. And every morning we'll wake up and keep looting until the whole place is looted and all the zombies are dead. And then once that's done, we're going to do the same thing in Riverside. I think that'll be some uh, a nice thing to do in the winter. I think this will be a nice winter job for us. But the trailer is not in great shape, so it needs to be fixed a lot. Do 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 All right, small metal sheets. We got so many small metal sheets that we'll be able to turn into big metal sheets when the time is right, and hopefully we can make some metal crates as well. Just need to level up. Let us eat uh, a quarter of this incredible meal that I made for me that keeps us nice and leveled out. It's good. 
and uh, I'll put the roasting pan back in here. Pretty tired. I like that. I do like that. It's a broken one there too. Put some pistols on the edge. Oh, look at this chat. That looks great, doesn't it? It's quite dark. All right, and then we'll use these uh, cabinets for ammo, and then we could organize the ammo a little bit better too, right? Lovely gun. Thanks so much. Thank you for complimenting me on my big gun table. God, I have so many shotguns. Place these ones too. Okay, good. Right now we can go to bed. I've done it. I've done everything I needed to do today. Pointing them at yourself seems a bit wild. They're not loaded, it's fine. You could tell I've never owned uh, any firearms before in my whole life. They're not loaded. And I haven't even checked. I'm assuming they're not loaded. I think it's I think it's safe to assume that they're not loaded, right? It's pretty a pretty safe bet. Okay, cooking. Let us make another roast. Get some lard in there. Do 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 Two underscore. Hey, um, dumb chair. Thanks so much for the ten. Sorry for the disappointment, and uh, and also Supervisor Randy. Thanks so much for the ten before as well. Big, uh, a huge, huge appreciation from me. Thank you. Thanks. We need some uh, strawberries. We need some strawberries to snack on, right? They're nice. Twenty-five strawberries. Put this in here too. Actually, let's eat a quarter of it. See if we can level out our weight loss. That's done it. Perfect. Put this back. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Great. Very, very good. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. How is uh, all this stuff looking? Water levels for the tomatoes seem to be fine. 
water levels for the broccoli is all of a sudden not fine. We're going to have to do some... Oh, look at the water levels of this last broccoli. That's pretty bad. Okay. Okay, this rain collector barrel is out of water completely. Okay, it took the whole bucket. It took the whole damn bucket. Alright, it's safe to walk here, it looks like, so... Okay, good. How are these guys doing? Strawberry plants need a little bit of water too. Alright, just a little bit more. Well, if it would rain... But it, it just doesn't rain in the winter, it doesn't feel like. Or snow. I mean, it's, it's, it's midway through December, and it hasn't snowed or rained. Place this here. Can the barrels of water freeze? I have no idea, to be honest. I'm going to have to cut down some of these trees in the yard here. All right, let me pick up this taxi, hotwire it, bring it back to, to our base. Let me in. Okay. Um, let's put this back in here. Just go get some water quick. You like the pasture of office chairs? Thanks. You're doing great, Dad. 
Attention citizens, it has come to my attention that one of you has been doing an absolutely magnificent <laughs> job decorating your house with adorable gnomes. Right. I hope everyone will join me in congratulating Rashad. Yes! That's right. He finally won one. Yes! It was, it was, it was the gnome that did it. Nice, nice. Okay, it's a good battery. Let's uninstall it. We don't want to junk this. Uh, the engine we will, uh take uh, parts from. I need my wrench. Um, it looks like the suspension here, it, we have two good suspensions as well. So let me get the uh, the jack and stuff. Hey, thank you so much, Supervisor Randy. God, it's about time somebody recognized uh, how great I am. What state are these tires in? Okay, the tires themselves are not in... Uh, incredible condition but they'll have to do right hang on to that so you never know when we're gonna need another battery This suspension is shot, so we're going to dump these ones. So we want to grab rear left. Front left suspension. This one. Okay, it's not the best, but this is now in much better shape, right? It's not going to blow up on us. Get rid of those. Can you install a gun on your vehicles? No. You can't. Okay. It's not Mad Max. Does the windshield uh, matter? Does it have to be a heavy-duty windshield? Yeah, it does, right? It does, it does matter. You can't do it. Okay. Let me grab this muffler, since it's in good condition. And then let's uh, strip the engine. Great. 
And then let's uh, dismantle the uh, the wreck in a sec as well. Two big metal sheets from that. Very good. We're going to need those for more car repairs. Seventy-eight. You love this episode of this old car? It's one of the best. One of the greatest episodes of this old car. <laughs> That's the crap we have in here. Is there an end game on this one? Yep, this is it. You're looking at it. Just uh, just living, loving, and surviving, and um, and just doing uh, whatever you like. Just having having fun, you know. I'll put all this stuff here. Got our propane tanks. Let me put the wrench here too. Uh, lighter, sure. Cigarettes, chocolates. Okay, good. 308 rounds. Some backup ones. This generator. Uh, we don't need to take this generator with us. We don't need a generator where we're going. So we will leave this uh, here. As a backup. Uh, we don't need this uh, cage trap either. Let me grab this tire pump and uh, inflate these tires. Okay, 40 and 35, sure. Suspension's looking good. I don't want them to burst. That could have been a, a big burst, right? Let's put that in there. Um, we got our sawed-off shotguns. We got boxes of shotgun shells. Very nice, very nice. Any plans for Christmas Day? No. I haven't really thought about it much. Um, God, we have so many. Okay, we got some 308 rounds here. Okay. Let's just check these backpacks. 308 rounds. Boxes of 308 rounds. All right. All right, I got 11 magazines on me.
I got 216 shotgun shells, if we want to use those as well. Um, I'll need some smokes. This cage trap we'll leave here. Whoops. This one needs, um, what exactly? It needs a laser, and it needs a scope, if I don't have a red dot, another red dot. I don't think I do have one. I mean, I could take it off this other one if it breaks. The one I currently have is about half condition, right? Just bring it back up just in case, right? You never know. Why is there not an American flag in this room? I don't I haven't gotten to it yet. I, there's there's I got a lot to do, okay? I'm planning a big trip here. Good night, Christmas crustacean. Good grief. All right, let's get that attached. Food I'm not actually too worried about because we're looting houses. There'll be loads of food that we can eat over there, right? I got the sledge. Um, let's see, what's my weight at? 79? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna need some more smokes. Okay, that should be enough smokes. I don't need more than that, I don't think. Um, maybe just in case, let me grab uh, a couple of uh, bags of chips as well. Okay, perfect. We want to set out uh, fairly early tomorrow. I think what we're going to do is basically we're going to go to uh, Rosewood. And we are going to park the car here. And... Um, and we're going to start blasting. And then we're just going to empty out all these houses. We're, ma we're mainly looking for guns and ammo from these houses. But we'll take other stuff as well. Like, uh, you know, stuff we need. Like wire, wood glue, axes. We're looking for jars and lids. Apparently, the, 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 the best chance for jars and lids to spawn is in a bedroom. Jars and lids in a bedroom. It has a, a four... A chance of four to spawn in a bedroom whereas everywhere else is it has a chance of one in cupboards just general cupboards doesn't matter which room they're in it has a chance of one but bedrooms apparently that's where jars and lids spawn so we'll be looking for jars and lids as well am i planning on playing prison architect 2 in a month and change i thought it was meant to come out this month but uh i guess it's delayed I, I'll, I'll, I'll see. I don't know. I'm. <laughs> it's one of those. I'm going to wait. I think I'm going to wait to just see. I don't want to be stung. Like, uh, I don't want to be stung again. City Skylines 2 hurt enough. I, I, don't, I don't need to be hurt like that again. You know? 
I'm going to wait and see what people think, and then uh, I'll take it from there. Where did it touch me? I was just... Uh, I Parts of it seemed so promising, but I was just reading about the, the DLC that they released, and it's just like, phew, oh man, I don't know. Starfield? No, I mean, Starfield's whatever. It was fine. I, I think... I. I wasn't mega hyped for it anyway, and I kind of figured I would just be a bit disappointed with it. And yeah, it was fun for a couple of minutes, and and I think it's fine with some mods and stuff. It'll probably be pretty fun in in a couple of years or whatever. Starfield didn't didn't hit me too hard actually. Baldur's Gate three was incredible. I loved it. I was not hyped for it though. I just, uh, I, I, you know, it was one of those. I was just like, yeah, I could take it or leave it. But I was really, really surprised by how good it was and played it a lot. Starfield was was very mid, yeah. But it's, I, I honestly, it didn't bother me too much. Again, I was not like super hyped for it, and I feel like I had enough fun. I, I feel like I had enough fun to justify getting it when it came out and stuff. And I don't feel too bad about it. See, Skylines 2, I feel like I had enough fun playing it as well, honestly. I, I feel like I got value out of it, but I just wish it was better. I, I just had higher expectations for it because the first one was so good and I played it so much, you know? Yeah, I enjoyed my time in Starfield as well. I thought it was fine, too. It, it was fun. If I, I just didn't really care about the story. I just went and did my own thing and, and treated it like a sandbox, and, and I enjoyed it. It was fine. What about Big Space Update for Factorio coming in the summer? Yeah, I'll check that out. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, I like uh I like Factorio. I feel like I could I could get really into Factorio, but I'll wait for that update. I think it'll be worth waiting for, you know? You know? Don't you know? God, we have so many metal sheets. It's crazy. Actually, I think we have a lot of wire now, too. I've been collecting it wherever I can. Yeah, look, 16 wires for fishing traps and stuff. We should never run out of fishing traps. Same with wood glue. Lots of wood glue. But I'll keep collecting it because I feel like we can never, uh, we probably can't have, um, can never have too much wood glue. These hand axes are in pretty good condition. These ones are not in great condition. Uh, we have some broken ones here. And we have one on the floor that is in superb condition. We'll take this as a backup, the one that's in good condition. And we'll take this other one here, which is in less good condition. And uh, and hopefully we can uh, score a couple more in our uh, during our, our looting. So the, the, the back of the van is supplies. Everything that we need to um, to excel in Rosewood. And the trailer will be loot. Anything that we loot, right? And then obviously if we, we get some uh, ammo that we need for supplies, we'll just we'll sort it out there and then sort of thing. Supplies. Is Oxygen not included dead? As they're not making new content for it? Haven't paid attention for quite a while? I don't know what the last update was, but Oxygen not included, I feel, has been updated enough for you to get a, a ton of extra value out of it. Like they, If you've been playing it since the start, it's, it, it's always been a fantastic game, and I feel like it's just gotten better and better and better the more stuff they've added to it. They have a roadmap for 2024? Well, there you go. I, I Clay are pretty good at maintaining their games, right? Don't Starve Together seems to get updated a lot. Um, Oxygen Not Included has been updated plenty since it came out. They're, and they're both great games. I'm a huge Clay shill, yeah? Well, I, I don't mind being one because they're, I think their games are really good. I don't. I mean, I, I, the original Don't Starve I played a ton of. Don't Starve Together, we went on a bit of a bender with uh, Ravs and Annie, if you remember. That was really fun. And um, Auction Not Included, I've played my fair share of as well. Yeah.
if you like those kind of games, right? I mean, it's it's always it's always down to to your your preferences, you know. Okay, let's go to bed early and then we'll make our way over there in the morning. I think we're ready to go. So we're going to we're going to look to um have a a house that we can colonize. And we'll stay there for a couple of days, I think. Save us coming back all the time, you know. We'll just we'll just colonize it upstairs and sort of sleep there and rest there and eat there and stuff. And then you know we can just grab food from the houses as we go. We'll just eat tin food. I think we're like two or three days, and uh, should be good. I've watered all the plants. I think the generator probably could do with a uh, a refuel. Just before we go. 86. Yeah, okay, fine. Alright, I'll take this empty gas can with me. Put this one here. Alright. We want to uh, we want to preserve all of our food and stuff, right? While we're gone, for sure. Take the empty gas can, and I can fill up. Well, either side actually, I could fill up in uh, in Rosewood because we have a uh, a gas station there too, right? Nice. Okay. Off we go! We'll probably want to use our rifle a bit in Rosewood because I, I feel like a lot of Rosewood's been uh, cleared, but the rifle's probably nice just to uh, clear what's left there, right? We haven't really been through the residential areas. We've been to the school a couple of times to uh, finish our book library. Crap. Hey, just signing off for Christmas, taking my PA to Dubai. Don't tell the wife, ha ha. All Remember right. to keep putting the hours in. My quarter four bonus relies on your hard work. Also, your December TPR report is now late. Don't make me contact HR. Ciao. Troy from Corporate, thank you so much for the 10. Um, enjoy yourself. Uh, in Dubai, I guess, uh, at the, uh, are you guys going to do the, like, like at those vacuum cleaner, uh, salesman conventions, you know, where it's just like a bunch of old bald guys, like doing backflips on tables and just getting, getting wild and wacky because they're away from their wives for like, for five minutes or whatever. Is that what it's going to be like in Dubai? The annual... The annual vacuum cleaner salesman convention. Okay, well. Two nasty dudes were on the road, but I took them out. In our efforts to clear the farmlands, which well, honestly, I think that it's looking pretty clear. We did have a collision with one, which is going to be a bit of hood damage, but we can repair it when we get home. I'm I'm expecting to come home with a couple of odds and ends, honestly. Like, you know, some bits and pieces. A good couple of bits and pieces. Just a few. Can you shoot zombies while driving in this game? I don't know if you can actually. I've never tried. You might have to open your window to do it. I'm too scared. I, I'm not very good at multitasking. I mean, even even when I'm my single singular task is to drive, I crash all the time. So imagine trying to uh, shoot and smoke and eat all at the same time. No thanks.
do 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 you know what game I was thinking about that I would love to play again, but I just don't want to play against other people and I don't know if it's possible to play it any other way? Rust. Man, I really like all like the, uh, like, you know, you can, you can like wire up your base and like, I, I like the base building and I would like to like play it more like PVE, but uh, I don't know if it's possible. Play on an empty server, just host my own empty server. Set up a private server. I just don't want to play against like big big sweat lords, you know? Like I just don't find that very fun. But I wouldn't mind having like, you know, kind of like a, a bit like this game, you know? Like it'd be cool if there was like a mod that added lots of zombies or something so that you could just kind of roam around, collect supplies, kill stuff, build a cool base. I'd be down for some of that, you know? There's not much to kill. The second forest game? Yeah, there's the second forest game, I know, but it's the building and stuff. I like like the uh, the stuff that you can get in Rust. I, I just like how Rust plays, you know? The forest is just a bit... I don't know. The zombies in the forest are just gross and annoying and... Uh, I don't know. I watched uh, I watched a bit more of The Last of Us yesterday. I watched the episode where uh, they go to the, um, they're mostly walking around the forest and they come across that cabin with the husband and wife and then they go across the river and they find uh, the brother and he's living at that like, well basically like Woodbury I guess. It's like some big survivor town. That was a good one. Yeah, it was all right actually. And I started watching the next one, which uh, the 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 flashback for the kid uh, when she's like uh, you know at the military thing camp or whatever or the I don't know what it is, and her friend uh, takes her out for like a a night on the tiles or whatever. Ugh, it was all right. I don't know. Is that is that bit uh, from the game? Because some of some of the stories are actually from the the game, right? Hey, what are you doing here? I think let's fill this, fill the car up for now, and then on the way back to the base, we'll uh, fill up all the cans in the uh, in the trunk. The red van, yeah, that red van did serve us quite well. There's another white van there. We can maybe come back here and grab some of these vans and strip them for parts. So there are still a few zombies in uh, Rosewood, but just not that many. There's about to be even less in a minute once we start uh, start working this neighborhood. Alright, let's start with this street first. So the so clearing houses out one by one is prob I I say is probably the most dangerous thing to do in this game, right? Cuz that's in my uh in in my experience so far with this character, that's the only time we've ever even been scratched or almost bitten. Bing. 
I think it's just like the close quarters nature of it, you know? And there's there's loads of sp- places for them to get the jump on you, you know, if you're not expecting it because they're hiding behind doors and, you know, like the ones that don't activate, they're just chilling in a room or whatever. You get complacent. Did we get him? Yeah, we did. What a shot. God, there's not much left here, is there? That's good, though. That's good. Alright, I can hear somebody banging on a door over there. Okay, this will be our dinner tonight. Maybe we can eat some pickles too. What was that? Box of paper clips. Okay. Oh, he's in that garage. Okay, seems clear. Oh, thank you very much. Seems clear enough up here so far. Okay. We'll uh we'll knock out these stairs and secure this place as a as our as our base. Let me grab the uh sledgehammer. Jar. Oh, three empty bottles. Okay. What can you do, eh? All right. We'll use the sledgehammer for um, for those now. Okay. Uh, first things first. Let me make some sheet ropes. Yep. And then we'll knock out these stairs. Beautiful. All right. We'll have to go through and uh, loot the upstairs, see if there's guns and stuff, but that's fine. So let me put back the sledgehammer. Uh, zombie respawns are off. There's a bathtub up here for water too, right? Be good. Headphones, no. Fishing books, no. Don't need any of this stuff, I don't think. Adhesive bandages, sure. Just in case, I guess. Oh. Ah, here we go. A magnum. What a find. All right, good. 
All right, so we will say that this is uh, a temporary home for us. Um, and we'll also mark it off as looted. Great. Let's have a nice pickle snack. Oh. Let me just do one thing quick. A pickle a day keeps the zombies away? Yes. I'll put these sheet ropes in here just uh, in case we get uh, stranded up here, right? I don't want to jump out the window. I don't think it's going to happen somehow, but you never know. All right, next house. It's locked. Whoa. We can just keep filling up our water bottles as we go. It'll be fine. A box of spark... Whoa. found a, a box of jars. gun case here. Ooh. Guns and ammo, baby. already read this one. Just giving my daily tithe to the Holy Church of Shipsy, where we worship jars and piss off the hoa. <laughs> Chonkers, thank you so much for the 10. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, this one is done, but we have to check the garage. All right, so loot... It's one three oh eight round on me. Rifles are heavy, turns out. Um, what else have I looted from here? This, this box of jars, a couple of kitchen knives. All right, good. Can we get a jar count added on the bottom left? I think we got six jars in that box. There's a fitness contraption, a black electric guitar, and a red electric bass, barbecue, and some kitchen tongs. All right. Done. I think what we'll do is, um, do the houses first and then come back and just do all the garages once the neighborhood is like clear. 
I think this house here that we've done it a couple of times. God, Rosewood's just empty. I think we got carpentry five from in here, didn't we? Oh. Hello. There's somebody else in here too. I should probably rest for a minute. That's so nasty, isn't it? Somebody else up here. It's in this one. Okay, he's dead. Anything in here? Um, some leather gloves. And a leather jacket. Lots of leather. There's a rifle in here, too. With some rounds. The pillow in here. Take it. Dance magazine already read. Okay. Can I use a pillow? Yeah. It's like decoration. You can use it for some decoration. any of this stuff. Alright, it's jars and lids. Nope. Nope. Wait. Alright, another one's done. Oh, hang on. Ooh. That would have been spicy, huh? Alright, so we got some more rounds. Another rifle. There's just no zombies up here. <laughs> I think we can just we could probably safely uh store the rifle in here and the uh magazines, right? Go a bit lighter. have a bit of a rest. We're getting all tuckered out. Oh, this one's open. Okay, we don't need... Ooh. There's a couple of tapes here. I feel like possibly I've been through a couple of these before. during my uh, my escapades.
Non. Alright, this one's done. Nothing in this one. And the, uh, the garage in this one's done too. is not open, but these garages all have windows. Okay, I'll grab some... Why? Actually, you know what? I'll grab some propane tanks, too. I feel like... We can we can have some propane tanks. Wraps for Christ at last. Oh man. So good. I can't wait to get home and listen to that. Hiding? I heard him. Fuck. So close. Some some of these are just some of these close calls are just crazy. Hmm. Okay, I actually forgot to bring some of those, so that's good. Here we go. the loot. Alright, we made some uh we made some decent progress. We're a bit tired. We don't want to be fighting too much while we're tired. Let's just see if we can find any zombies. I, I think we killed all of them. 
why not bring all the canned food with me? I'm just going to eat as I go. I, honestly, I, I, it's not... Uh, it doesn't matter. These houses are just filled with canned food. Uh, and, and I've got cupboards and cupboards full of canned food at home, too. If we need to really hunker down and survive. There is nothing out here. I think I just came through Rosewood so many times that there's just nothing left here. I got I got perfectly good food at home. All right. Well, I mean it's good. And there's just a couple of zombies stuck, like, inside the houses, I suppose, but there's not, there's no, like, huge hordes roaming around on the, on the, uh, on the streets or anything, so that's good. Alright, well, at least we can sleep in a bed tonight. It's nice. Can wash myself in the uh in the toilet as well. <laughs> Very nice. I guess we don't really want to go to bed too early. Um, but equally, I don't really know what else we can do. I guess we can just disassemble these bits and pieces. I don't need, uh, I don't really need any of this stuff. I'll just leave this. Same with these light bulbs. I don't think I need them. Aluminum. I don't even know. What, what do you use uh, aluminum for in this game? Does anybody know? Anybody have any, any freaking idea at all? Or no? Nobody knows. Hats. All right. Like tinfoil ones. I'm gonna go to bed at ten o'clock. Nice.
You believe in me. You think it's cold outside? I think it's going to be pretty cold today. There's a prisoner. Another one. else shot his glasses off Don't shoot the car. I didn't. Maybe I did. Maybe the car has been shot a little. All right. Turns out there were a few zombies left in Rosewood. The murder van is in town.
We've actually hit this house already. Oh. Was that a priest? No, I think it was a police officer. It was a park ranger. There's more. This guy has a... I think that's a bread knife. Pretty sure it's a bread knife. Yeah. There's a couple of them in the woods. Hello, is anybody home? jars, no lids, no guns, no ammo.
Nothing. Nada. Zilch. All right, so what house is this? It's this one. All right. We carry on. Ew. Good cooking? No, we got it already. Oh, you can cut you can close the door from so far away. It's nuts. Um nothing in here. Butter? Oh yeah. Can always take some butter. I don't think they have a shed or anything. Nope. Alright, that's that one done. Interesting there. Nope. 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 Come on, take this twine. Alright, that one's done. Nope. Nothing. this corn later. Um, no, we don't need any of this stuff. Ooh. I can't dismantle the microwave in there. This one's done. It's chrome, you need to take it? No. No thanks. What are you doing in here? The farming magazine? True dancing? Okay, good. No word search magazine. That's going to keep us going for most of this trip, I would have thought. It 
It's been on that whole time and it still has 76% battery. Wild. Going in. Whoa. Hello. Box of nails. Always. I don't need any of this stuff right now. Oh, yeah, the car is on. Hello. So loud. Quit making all this noise. Why are you trying to get in here? To get your shell suit jacket? Was that why? Gun case with ooh. Let's make love the CD. Mm. I'll take it. There's another gun case here too. Yeah, these houses seem to have more guns and ammo in them. Than the other ones, the the uh, the big posh houses. Go back. You need to sh get the swimming trunks to show off Rashad's dad bod. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a nice cozy eleven degrees in here, but it's it's minus four outside. I'm. Tis not the season for swimming trunks, unfortunately. All right, let's check this garage. And then we'll head back before we get too tuckered out. A bando. Oh, shit. An axe. We'll take it. Good find. You gotta love finding um, an axe. Oh, 
Well, I like this. Uh, I like this system that we're using to um, to clear this neighborhood. You know, you just set aside a couple of days, get down here, get the job done, and then we never have to come back. And also, we've killed a bunch of zombies down here too. It's nice. Possibly not the safest place to do this, but I used up uh, all of my uh, spare bullets filling those mags. It's good. Nice, it's eight degrees in here. Uh, what are we going to eat? I got this whole... I got this propane tank on me, too. I should put that in the back. <coughs> Pardon me. Nice. Pasta and pepper, we're not going to be able to eat it on the road. But all of this other stuff, we could potentially. Butter as well. Stick that in the back. Okay, perfect. Let's do this house quick while we're here. This one's been totaled. There's someone in here, I think. Upstairs, maybe? Oh, some 308 rounds. Nice. Maybe in here? Must be upstairs, right? I'm too scared. I'm going to come back tomorrow. It's getting dark. Three oh eight rounds. Yep. <coughs> Pardon me. Let's go to bed at like 10 o'clock again. The days are so short. It's snowing. Can't believe it.
You thought weather was broken? What's uh what's meant to be uh broken about it? been into this church house yet. Hunter Magazine 1. It's been read. Whoa. Alright. Lots of pistol ammo. They gotta have some jars and lids in here. Surely. Oh, SIGs. Bit of thread. Two garbage bags. Pretty nice. No, nothing. There was a jar. Where? <coughs> okay, I'll go check. Hang on. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm all flimmed up. Jar in the kitchen. Where? Oh, empty jar, yeah. Holy crap. Good spot. I'll have some more canned corn tonight. I like that. That was really good. Okay, thank you. I'm going to put the heater on. It's cold. Oh, he's done. I'm still looking for that Herbalist magazine as well. I think there's somebody in here somewhere. Up here. Not in here. Do 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 Body wave? <laughs> Already read. It's a cordless phone in here. Must be out back or something. I don't know where that sound's coming from. Matches? Always take some matches. All right, that's this one done. I 
see. Yep. It's like a party house in here. Holy crap. There's more. Oh my god. Alright, well that's all the noise I could hear. Jars and lids? Here we go, baby. These are the cupboards. No, nothing. No, nothing. Some wire, though. I'll take it. What is up with this house? It's like a house from hell. Whoa, you mother. Where did all these guys come from? Attention citizens, it's come to my attention that one of you has been doing an absolutely magnificent job finding jars and lids. I hope everyone will join me in congratulating local canning legend Agnes on a job well done. A true inspiration at her age. This backyard is a travesty. There was a guy here too. Uh, Supervisor Randy, you know what? I think uh, Agnes probably deserves it this time. She probably actually does deserve it. These backyards are a bit sketchy, aren't they? Like, they're really overgrown. The Shim Sham? Unread. Hunter Magazine Volume 3, red. Oh, that was going to be jars and lids for sure, by the way. If it was going to be anywhere, it was going to be there. Grab this. Oops. Dare we go upstairs in this hell house? We're going to have to. If we want to find some more GNA, guns and ammo. Here's one. Just a, just a small little one. Oh yeah. That's the stuff. Oh, you know what? Take the soap as well. All right, another house bites the dust, baby.
we're almost full in the uh, trailer. Looting. I feel like we've looted pretty good stuff, though. Propane tank is not going to fit. So we're going to have to use the back of the truck. Alright, we might need to go home and uh, drop some stuff off. There's still so much to do, but there's uh, there's just not too much to kill out here. Nice. Repairing the trunk on the car will increase its capacity. Oh, okay. I'll repair it when we get home. I have the stuff that we need to repair it. God, Rosewood is just a ghost town now. We have well and truly conquered Rosewood this time, friends. Yeah, it's very snowy. It's uh it's nearly Christmas, actually. Alright, I think that's a really nice method for um sort of clearing stuff out, right? Like like what we did. Get a little foothold set up. A safe spot that we can always go back to. Grab some food. I mean, if we were going somewhere where there is no food, we could just bring our own. But, I mean, if we're just going to loot houses and stores and stuff, they'll have food. And then um, just stay out there for a couple of days, fill up the trailer, and then head back. Save on trips. You get more out of the day. It's like going to Disneyland, you know? You want to maximize your time in the park. You got you got passes for five days. You want to use all five of those days. You don't want to have a, a five-day pass. Arrive on Monday and you lose a day. And then leave early on Friday and lose a day, right? That's, that's dumb. You want to maximize your time. That's what we're doing here. This is just like Disneyland, by the way. I'm making a, a huge comparison. close. So 308 ammo, we're using tons of it. And shotgun ammo, we've used tons of it as well. But, I mean, it all goes towards getting uh, XP, right? And then when we're out of ammo, we've got axes to fall back on. Lots of them as well. I mean, we picked up another one on this trip. Randomly out of somebody's garage. Which is good. We get XP for aiming. Plus, we also um, get to conserve our axes. And then when we really run out of good axes, we can just use stone axes. And by then, our maintenance and axe level should be like sky high, right?
Great. Very good. We got lots of stuff. Look at all the stuff we came back with. Only a skin flint uses stone axes? Well, I mean, come on. If we have to, we have to. I'm, I'm saying we might have to use them at one point, And if we do, we will just use them. But I'll try to avoid using them, obviously. I mean, I don't want to use them. I think it's disgusting. Shotgun shells can go into the trunk. Look at all my pistols. Look at all my pistols. My CD collection's getting uh, pretty big too. Constant Warship we we already have though, so we'll chuck that one in the garbage. Oops. Do 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 do. do. Look at my health. What about it? It's just from carrying stuff. It happens every time you carry stuff. It's a very normal thing to happen when you carry stuff. Okay, good. Trailer's empty. Let's put these um, shotgun shells in here. Let's grab this propane tank out of here. Everything else in here is f fine. Uh, 14 boxes of 308 rounds. Jeez. It's <laughs> a lot. A hunting knife? All right, good. I can't believe we found a box of jars. That's so good.
Do, do, do. We should micro microwave some metal to celebrate. Yeah, we can if you want. Attention citizens, I'm going on holiday. I need a break from all this supervising. <laughs> Maybe visit some place less depressing like Columbus, Ohio. Oh, if yes. We cast Cagnus or sort it yourself. Try not to put any pies in the microwave in my absence. Okay, you're gone and our love goes on. We had doubles up. The uh, the uh, raps for Christ so good though, and we have to read some uh, some books here today too, right? Let's check on the Jenny, see how it's doing. Okay, while we were away, it uh, it uh, deactivated the cell, which is really good. So it means that uh, we didn't actually use any um, any resources while we were gone. Which means that we, if we're going to go and do Rosewood, or anywhere else for that matter, honestly, um, it, it's far enough away where the generator doesn't actually consume anything. Raps, raps for Christ. Um, Supervisor Randy, thank you so much for the 10 again. If you need help next week ask agnes or sort it yourself try not to put any pies in the microwave in my absence okay noted i will not god i can't wait for the spring we have some uh, devil's water fungi on our uh, tomatoes on one of our tomatoes but last time uh, that didn't seem to really affect anything so we're just gonna leave it we're gonna leave it brew see what happens we got some more strawberries growth will be oh this one's got a disease as well what was that disease this is uh, unknown mildew mildew on the strawberries Can I put some strawberries into, um, I'm opening this box of jars. The box of jars gives you six jars and six lids as well. God, that's good, isn't it? Man. Open a jar of cabbage. No, thanks. What's missing to make a jar of... Oh, maybe you can't put strawberries in. Oh, no, you can't. Can you make jam? Nope. Maybe there's like a recipe for it. Okay, so strawberries can't go in, but we can put uh, vegetables in, right? So we could put in like uh, three cabbages, for example. Carrots? I don't know. Bell peppers? I don't even know how you get bell peppers. Where do you get them from? Making another jar of cabbage. Um, and I'm going to grab all these stale cabbages. And we're going to make another jar of cabbage. Okay, no, I'm not. I don't have 10 units of water. Okay, 
I've just made two jars of cabbage. I'm going to cook them. Yes. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. I do love that. Okay, the roasting pan is empty and it won't fit in here. Let me uh, eat an entire box of cereal to celebrate. some tapes to put away let's microwave a car to celebrate that's silly albert well in qc um season two episode two we have space crew i think we have all the space crews for strangely true season two episode three we have the magic magical woodland episode one We've got it. And True Dancing Episode 4. We don't have it. Okay, good. I, I feel like our tape collection is nearly complete, right? We hit another hit vids and we're done. Okay, we got loads of disinfectant. We'll read these tonight. Oh yeah, I got a pillow. Finally. Oh, yeah, that's good. Isn't that so good? Okay. Running Man 3 and the Shim Sham. Gosh, it is snowing out there. There's a ton of home VHS tapes that give you do. How much do do they give me? Fine quality axe there. Very nice. I have 15 hunting knives and 17 kitchen knives to make spears with. And also I'm lazy and have not been leveling up spears. Maybe next, when we go back to Rosewood, we can uh, we'll take some spears instead of hand axes since it's pretty um, it's pretty clear over there now. Apart from um, apart from a couple of um, zombies just in the in the houses, there's not much out there anymore. <laughs> All right, good. Yeah, nice. Chat, I'm uh, going to go and uh, take a quick bathroom break, okay? I'll be right back. See you in a sec.
Hi. I have come back. I have come back. Hi. God, look at this snow. I can't believe it's our first proper winter. I can't even see the roads. We need a snow plow out here. It's minus three. Let's see what the forecast is for tomorrow. Snow is water mod allows snow to fill rain barrels. That might be one worth getting. It's a bit realistic, isn't it? Heavy cloud cover. This is today heavy cloud cover. With a chance of snowfall. M moderate rain with a chance of snow. Oh, could have been rain, but it's just snow. Clear skies, periodical cloudy spells. Alright, well, it's not meant to snow or anything tomorrow. Can I read Dowie's message? Did I get any tea? Yeah, I did, Dowie. I did get some tea. Sorry, I did. I forgot to even mention it, but yes, I, I got some tea. It's very cold. Okay, we're warming up now. Nice. It's nice we found some smokes while we were out on the road, too. You won 20 points! Barfatron, nice! Can you melt snow in a bucket to get water? Um, I don't think you can. Because um, somebody was just saying there's a mod that turns uh, snow into water for rain barrels and stuff. So it doesn't seem like snow will fill up your uh, rain barrels. The Become Desensitized mod is a good one to pick up. There, is, is there uh, is there like a natural you become desensitized after killing a certain amount of zombies or it, does that have to be modded? Isn't there an option in the sandbox of oh, just beta blockers? It has to be modded. Uh, okay. How's my water supply looking? If it keeps on snowing, well, it, I'm running out. Uh, luckily, though, we have the lake. We do have the. Uh, we have the lake that we can um, wash in and stuff. We're chilly. It's uh, it's saying it's 3.5 degrees, which we shouldn't be feeling too chilly because it seems to be warmer in the middle of the building somehow. Don't get the Become Desensitized mod. There's a much better mod called Dynamic Traits Sauce Edition, which has that mod in it and more. All right, what is that? What is the Dynamic Traits? thing do did I bring the oven over no I haven't actually I have not brought the oven over I guess the oven would probably warm this place up quite a bit wouldn't it it allows you to go with cold turkey and lose the smoker trait and stuff that's pretty cool actually I'm just so used to, to, um, I've got like, you get, you just get used to kind of doing certain things though, right? Is it, uh, is it a bit risky to sleep when it's cold or no? You just warm up in the night. I like the idea of the dynamic traits thing. Sounds, it seems pretty cool. Simple occupation trait and overhaul has sandbox settings for dynamic traits. Oh, okay. Let's make a uh, let's make a roast. A 
let's add some beef jerky into this as well. Nice. I'm going to put some lard in this. Let's get a bit of pepper on here. Let's put a bit of soy sauce in here too. Spice it up a little. Don't use mods to make the game easier. I don't know if it makes the game easier. I think it just... I think it just gives a little bit more... Um, it gives a... I, I'm not sure that that could... Well, maybe it does. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like the, this game's pretty hard anyway. Like there's, I guess there's, I guess there's quality of life stuff, and then there's just stuff that maybe is a bit broken. But the trait stuff doesn't seem so bad. I mean, you can even just uh, vanilla unmodded traits. You can there's certain combinations of stuff that you can do that j just feel broken as well, right? Doesn't matter. Play the game however you want. It's for fun. Yeah, well, true. It does not make the game easier. You can also gain bad traits because of it. What about if you if you got a bunch of mods that made the game easier, but you played with like uh, with like sixteen times the zombie population? Because I feel like even then it would be too. They would still and with sprinters too. That would be, that would be hard. Yeah. There's a mod that lets you use magical spells. <laughs> oh, that would be cool. That would be neat. We're gonna eat half of this. This doesn't have the. Uh, doesn't have like the big calories that the other one has. I think we need to do some fishing. I don't know if we're gonna catch much. But, uh, oh, actually, we got uh, we got a couple more fillets in here. Not many, though. Just want to jar up some more cabbage so bad. Sprinters and zombies one-shot destructibles. <laughs> On, I honestly... I I I I respect people's determination to uh to keep leveraging value out of this game with mods by making it harder and harder and harder and, and stupidly harder or whatever but I also firmly believe that there are other fun games out there to play as well when you've kind of reached the end of this one you know not not that's not saying anything bad about this game because I love it, I, and I think it's a great game. I think it's perfect. But I think when you're at the point where you're doing that kind of stuff, go play, you know, just, just go play some Satisfactory maybe for a bit and then come back, or, you know, there's 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 stuff. There's There's some other stuff out there that you can just go and play, you know? People often use mods when they are burnt out, and it just makes you more burnt out. Yeah, I can uh I I can uh respect that. I think uh I think um City Skylines was a game that was a bit like that where and I guess a lot of people are like that with uh Rimworld and stuff as well where you're 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 ready to play and you're like, "Okay, I'm going to get some mods. I'm going to make I'm, I'm going to make this playthrough just like I can't wait to play this." And then they get all their mods set up. It takes them hours and they finally get in. They're like, oh, "Actually, this game's boring." I played this game too much and I'm bored. Even though I've just spent hours setting up all these mods and I'm getting ready to go. I just don't want to I don't even want to play. <laughs> it's like Fallout. There's so many games where there's just too many mods and then you Yeah, you spend two days setting up uh, your your big four hundred deep mod list to play the game and then uh you play for like five minutes and you're like ah, I'm just gonna go play some Helldivers or something, <laughs> something new that's come out. Too many mods try to remake the game. Better mods tend to be ones that feel like they could be vanilla. Yeah, I like the sort of quality of life fixes and stuff, you know? Or, like, I'd, I feel like the trait trait stuff would just make it a little bit uh, a little bit more interesting and uh, give you give you some other things to work around and, 
without completely breaking the game, you know what I mean? I don't know. Let's check this trap. Okay, I got some tackle, I got some little bait fish. Man, hopefully we can actually catch something, it would be nice. We haven't had much luck recently. Fishing. My tackle's gone. Okay, I caught some socks. Not bad. <laughs> Let's have a quick smoke. Um, I guess we can just check the trap again. So it's like it's like springtime, the uh, the time when the uh, when the fishing gets good again. No, I don't think you can fish from the deck above. It's quite far away from the water. I could could expand the deck out though. It's possible. I'm going to put all these shoes in here. <laughs> uh, add fuel. Socks. All. Light the fire. We'd have 15 minutes of fuel with all these socks in here. It's not bad. Oh, it's 15 minutes per sock? Nice. Oh, I just caught some more here. Damn. I don't think fishing is happening in the winter. I I mean, we did not catch a single thing. Unfortunately. I'm just going to have to hunker down. Hunker down and just eat some of the uh, the canned goods that we have, and then in the spring just fucking grow a ton of stuff and then jar it all up. Fishing also uh, makes you uh, pretty depressed. Okay, we're just a bit bored now. That's okay. We can deal with being bored, right? This is a pretty good one. We went heavy on the fish on this one. All right, good. We're gaining weight again. Very nice. We got some stale radishes. Uh, we got some uh, stale cabbages that we want to use up. Maybe start making some salads and stuff. 
Uh, potatoes. Still got tons of fresh potatoes left over. Okay, let's listen to the CD can of tomatoes to cure this boredom. I think it's a, I think this is a rap one. It's a rap album. Okay, let's listen to it again slower so we can actually see the lyrics. They look good. Tomatoes. Me and the homies got a case of the munchies. Wanted chips, different dips, and something real crunchy. Went to the local greens with a grocery list. Got almost everything, but for one thing we missed. Asked the lady, yo, where's your cans of tomatoes? Don't serve your kind, she shouted. Got no potatoes. What? Then from under the counter, pulls out a huge cat. <laughs> of course. Starts blasting and the homies scatter just like that. We duck down together and run through all the aisles. Bullets whiz by our heads. Out the front door we pile. Just wanted a can of tomatoes, dude. That's all. <laughs> Wow. Well, that really uh, helped with the uh, with the boredom, but we're still getting a little bit bored. So I think we need to top up with um, Mother Earth, the CD. Let's go. Where have all the flowers gone? The flowing streams, once so clear. The forest we loved so dear. Why do we kill Mother Earth? <laughs> she gives us food. All we need. This <laughs> is Enya, yeah. Asks for nothing in return. Why do we kill Mother Earth? The farmland all turns to sand. It better fucking not. The seas reach into the land. And are filled with plastics. Why do we kill Mother Earth? The wars, murders, all our... God, fuck, this one goes on a little bit, eh? Okay, at last, it's done. That one's too depressing. It cured our boredom, but uh, made us uh, very depressed. Yeah, that one should increase depression, I agree. All right, let's exercise. Holy crap, it's been a while. I don't really want to go out while it's so snowy because I can't even see the roads. This might be us for a couple of months now, by the way. We might just have to kind of power through it, do our best to survive. We're really playing The Sims now. Rashad needs to jack off. Uh, he's going to sleep even better with this pillow. Look at that. What are Rashad's Christmas plans? Uh, he doesn't really have any. It's, I mean... Okay, one thing we could do is let's grab the... Uh, let's grab a wood axe and get out there and uh, start chopping some wood down. That might be good, eh? Can you make a Christmas dinner? I don't think you can, no. I don't even know if you can decorate a tree or anything. I just... I don't know.
Okay, that's good. That's good. I, I don't even I don't even need the logs right now. I'll come out and get them when I need them. They could just stay there. Just to keep the yard a bit cleaner, you know. I have to ha have a rest. Oh no. It's young tomatoes. It's young broccolis are doing pretty good too, actually. It's been 117 hours since their last watering. Uh, one thing we might have to do this winter is... Um, we might need to go and fuel up. We might need to go and fuel up all those gas cans in uh, the back of the truck, but that's okay. We don't need, like, mega roads to uh, to find our way to do that, right? It's close. Nice. Uh, we could go and uh, see if there's some foraging that we can do. I don't know what foraging is like in the winter. It's probably pretty bad, but I can go walk around for a little. Let's grab the gun as well. Let's try to find some uh, berries. I found something. Ah, it's just twigs. We gotta get away from where I've cut down a million trees. Okay, I don't need a tree branch. I'll take the XP though. 19.20 XP per tree branch found. I mean, come on. That's good. That is really good. We'll level up forging in no time. We'll be able to f we'll be able to forge full uh, cans of uh, marinara sauce. What's this? A pine cone? I don't know what to use pine cones for. I suppose I should look through the recipes. Maybe there's like a survival pine cone stew or something I can make. It's only minus two. It's not too bad. You can make some pine cone spaghettis. Can you use pine cones for fuel? Twigs, scrap wood, and tree branches, do those all work as uh, fuels? I, I'm assuming they do. Logs, probably, too. Full logs. Probably get tons of fuel from a log, right? Just near the church now. Ooh. Ooh, what's this? Beauty Berry. Three Beauty Berry Wild. 48 XP. Shit. You don't need any of those beauty berries? No, I know. I've I've already consumed way too many.
Yeah, fixing up that ambulance might be a nice uh, a nice thing to do. Get into uh, Rosewood and Riverside and just blast the siren and and start blasting. Oh, hey. Oh my god. Somebody out here. Oh my god. I picked up a chip stone. Why not? No twigs. I don't want twigs. I think the some some of the snow is uh, melting a little. Look, the coverage is not uh, as it once was. <gasps> Hollyberry, here we go. Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm gonna put some holly up in my in my. Um, in my base, and I'm going to do that thing where you embrace yourself and it looks like you're making out with somebody. You know that James Bond did it to fool somebody one time? You know the that move? I'm going to do that one. Underneath the mistletoe. Underneath the, the holly. James Bond did that, yeah. He was like, I think he was spying on somebody and uh, the person he was spying on walked by. And um, he had to quickly do that. You like you 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 cross your arms in front of you, but then your hands are like on your back. But it looks like you're embracing somebody and making out with them. Is it mistletoe different? I don't know. I'm I'm not actually sure. I don't know. The the graphic looked like mistletoe esque, right? That's an old school trick, yeah. You can't really visualize it. Okay, follow these instructions. Look in a mirror as well. Actually, you won't be able to look in a mirror. You need like two mirrors. You need to be able to see your own back. Record yourself on your phone, okay? Set your phone up so and, and record yourself, okay? Stand in front of your phone, face your phone. And cross your arms over each other. And then put your hands onto the back of your shoulders. Okay? And then turn around from your phone. And then um, move your hands around. And then when you look at the video on your phone, it'll look like you're making out with someone. And hope that nobody walks in. Or hope that somebody does walk in. Imagine your street cred. Somebody walked in like, oh, sorry, pardon me. I didn't realize you're smooching somebody in here. Of course, you're not. But, you know, it'd be cool for somebody for once to think that you were. Yeah, do it under the, do it under the covers with some sound. Yeah, now, see? Really lean into the into the role play. Seems like a seems like a really good idea. I'm lost, by the way. Where the hell am I? I'm gonna have to check my map. I've wandered really far. There's something in here. What is it? Oh.
Hello, where the hell am I? Okay. <laughs> Got lost while giving you make out with yourself advice. I know, it happens. I was really trying to make sure that the instructions were crystal clear. I didn't want there to be any... I didn't want anyone screwing it up, you know? I wanted it to be perfect. You know when they do those things where it's like, we, we played um, Iron Man, but it was like a whole town with 200 drummers or whatever. We have to do that with the make out with yourself thing, right? 200 people recording themselves, making out with themselves? Come on. How good would that be? Look, you actually just get a bit of passive forging XP for walking through where you've cut lots of trees in the past. How far are we from leveling up foraging, actually? Oh, we're close. We're close, but not uh, close enough to do another book. I wonder what 5 gives us, uh, if it opens up some new options or something. Whoops. What's this? Another pine cone. Ew. Bong 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 ba dong bong bong ba dong bong Oh Wow Okay I got some winterberry wild winterberry When uh, when will I know whether a berry is poisonous or not when uh, when do you get those? Because I am way too scared to eat any of this stuff, or use it in any uh, in any of my big my big meals. Oh, you got to read the Herbalist magazine. That's why it's so important to find that Herbalist magazine. All right, we leveled up foraging. One of the more boring things to do, granted, but will probably save us in the long run, right? Especially um, if our if our food stocks for winter are low, if we survive to another winter. Holy crap, I can't believe how much we've survived. It's been five months and 14 days. Crazy. Foraging. And eight hours, yeah. Well, yeah, sorry. You're right, Dowie, of course, yeah. It has been Don't don't forget about the eight hours. Yes. Two more beauty berries. Just started playing and you've only survived for three days? Well, look, at this is my 12th run, so... But we've had varying degrees of success across all 12, but... I would say probably the first eight were, were very similar to your three days.
Why am I forging? Why not? I, well, I want to skill it up. I want to find more stuff. I can now uh, forge for trash if I want. I can forge for animals, apparently. I can find some dead animals to butcher. That might be cool. Because it's winter. Oh, what's this? Ripped sheets. I just found some ripped sheets. Can you believe it? Somebody left some ripped sheets out here in this field. Whoa, what's this? Oh, yeah. I just found a turkey. Just in time, too. Holy crap. I can't believe I just found a, a turkey. Free turkey. What state is this ambulance in? I could uh, I could start trying to fix it up. I think I got, uh, I got some materials. Probably needs a bit of gas. Wow, it's in really bad condition. Really bad. I mean, it's going to take a miracle to get this thing back on the road, but maybe uh, maybe we'll level up in our in mechanics a lot. Along the way. And there might be, do you know, Close to home here, there's probably some uh, some guns and ammo. Some of these uh, some of these houses. There's a load of houses to the west here that we've never even bothered to go through. Some bad guys and stuff. Maybe we can do that until the snow goes and start working on fixing up the ambulance. Yeah, there's another ambulance. You're right. Yeah, there is a crashed one. I, that one is, I think, in worse shape, but I can go check. Hey, what's this? Ooh. Uh, chip stones are pretty good, right? I, I mean, every chip stone I find is basically another axe. Alright, well, nice. I mean, we spent all day foraging. Why not? Killed a couple of zombies with our gun. Fort Howe. Still standing strong. Found a pine cone right outside our base. Who left that there? Found some twigs as well. God, who left all this crap here? Unbelievable. Good to be home. Didn't find a single animal while I was out there, sadly. Um, right. Rifle. Magazines. Chip stones. Yeah. Good.
Looting the prison? Yeah, I could go back and do it. That might be something to do. See if they have any, um... Any jars and lids there? All right, we're maintaining it's 79 weight. Uh, working out directly after eating would uh, would affect our. Um, it doesn't seem to actually. It didn't seem to make it go down, so that's good. It'll make you stronger. What? So if you eat and then and then you exercise, you, it'll make you stronger. You get a boost to strength, strength level nine. The protein buff. Nice. If it has a high protein value. I don't know if what I'm making has a high protein value. Do you get that uh, when you get higher uh, levels of cooking? Do you get to see that? Oh, you can see if you have it in the health tab? I don't seem to have it. Gigamart is the best place for jars. Well, I tell you what, I went to the Gigamart in Riverside. They did not have any jars. Not one. I didn't find one single jar or lid there. Spiffo is also good. All right. Well, there's a Spiffo's in uh, in Rosewood. And there's a, there's a, a Spiffo's in Muldrock close to um, our other base. The Rosewood supermarket has been cleared. Yeah, we cleared the whole thing. Yeah, Rashad. Rashad is a beast, you're right. It's crazy. He is a beast. Okay. Um, what have we not listened to on CD? A boy from Kentucky. Let's do it. Well, I'm a boy from Kentucky. And because I'm unlucky, I was sent all the way to Tennessee on her front porch... It's going too fast. I I don't want the board catching up with me. Is that a real song? Well, anyway, another one is off the list. We listened to a boy from Kentucky. Farming and rural supply shops, according to the wiki. Is there a farming and rural supply shop up um, where the... I think there is, isn't there? Military surplus, clothes, doctor's office. Oh, it's a farm produce shop with a with an adjoining cafe. There's a gas station and an auto repair shop. So no, there is not a farming supply. Double small warehouses, but I think that's just going to be full of rotten veg. Three warehouses. Double small warehouses again, double warehouses. Just looking places close to me right now. There's a farm with two tool sheds. We might find some luck there. 
It's uh, up along the way to uh, Riverside. There are loads of houses that we still haven't uh, checked in uh, where we live right now, which we, sh we should probably start doing, right? We'd be able to find uh, probably some more stuff that we can use. There's a farming supply across the street from the dentist. What near the uh, near the army surplus? I don't know if there is. Well, maybe there is. I don't know. So we haven't even checked any of these houses. All right. Once it gets a bit lighter, we'll uh, we'll go have a look. Okay, no, no protein buff. The roasting pan is uh, ready to be used once again. all these fish fillets up what else can we cook anything else we got all these unknown berries we need to find that herbalist magazine maybe we'll maybe we'll find a herbalist magazine in one of these houses as well could happen right take a look and uh, we're always looking for jars and lids too have i expanded my base into a multi-house complex yet no i have not you know what? There, let's take a spear with us too. Rashad cannot die to poison and be too sad. Well, don't worry. I'm not eating anything I, I'm unsure of. I won't be doing that. That's for sure. All right. So there's a couple of places down here that we can check out. We haven't checked out yet. Pretty sure this house has been checked. The good book has been double checked, triple checked, probably quadruple checked. don't think this house has been checked. This house has been checked. Okay. Check mailboxes too, right? Just in case. Oh, look at that. That one's already read, but it just shows you can sometimes find magazines in the mailboxes. Not in that one though. All right. This house has not been checked apparently, but the door is open, which says to me it has been checked. Yeah, like all the doors are open in here, which that says to me, this has been checked. But maybe we didn't do a thorough check. No, okay, this has been thoroughly checked. All right, good. There's a tent back here. Oh my God. What are you doing in here?
Okay, this one has clearly not been checked. Actually, let's close that. Anyone in here? Nope. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, yes! Mmm. Look at all these dried goods. Oh, man. Look at all this rotten food. Okay, we'll compost this. Why not? We're close to home. Traveling a bit light. Okay, this the, the neighbor's house here has been burnt down. We'll still go in and have a look. You never know, right? There might be something in there. We'll go have a look in the burnt down house. Nope. Hey, look. Wow. Close. Half the bathtub is gone. All right, this place. Some of the more important stuff managed to survive that fire. Just didn't have anything decent in it. Okay, that's good. We're making some progress here. This is nice. Wait for some of this snow to disappear and then Anyone in here? Nope. Why? This place has been completely gutted. By who? I don't even know. Because it wasn't me. I would have marked it. Okay. Alright, good. These houses are done. I'll check the mailboxes. <gasps> Already read that one. Two mailboxes with magazines. I got a good feeling about today. Mm. Sorry, I'm just finishing this tea. It's cold. It's cold tea. I'm drinking it anyway, though. I like... I don't actually mind cold tea. It's a nice pickup here. I'm sure we've been uh, through the horseshoe a couple of times. I can't remember what we took from here, though. I think we probably took all the good stuff. There's a lot of booze here, but I don't need it right now, so I'm not going to take it. Because it's probably heavy, right? The booze. Yeah, this place is definitely looted. There's a laundrette here. Oh. Okay, I don't need a washing machine and a dryer. I just don't I just don't need one. Alright, laundrette's done. There's a little house up here.
nothing in it. I guess they just forgot to spawn stuff into this one. Either that or I've looted it already. I, I don't know. Alright, good. Nothing in the mailbox. Do I eat many biscuits? Uh, what do you mean? Like, uh, you know what, do you know what I, I do eat a little bit, Dowie? Not much. But occasionally I quite like a, I like a, um, a digestive biscuit. Oh, man, they're so good. I don't know why I like them so much, but just like, not even a chocolate one, just like a normal one. A normal digestive biscuit. I mean, I will eat a, a chocolate one as well, but I feel like just the normal ones are fine too. I quite like them. How to use gen Hey, look at this. How to use generators in a mailbox. That's cool. Some people really struggle to find how to use generators, and we just found one in a mailbox. It's not bad. Look how overgrown all this is. Am I old? Yeah, I'm pretty old. Okay, we haven't really been up here before. So there might be some zombies in some of these houses. No jars. Guns, though. Shotgun shells. Jeez. Not bad. And a double barrel shotgun. Holy crap. All right, well, we'll take some of this stuff. Why not? Oh, my God. Hello, what are you doing back here? This one has a little shed. Oh, there's a generator in here. Another one. Come back and pick it up with the car. I'll just put it out at the road, or at least on the driveway, so it's easy to easy to find. Newspaper. I don't need any of that. Uh, 
don't need any of this stuff either. guns. Alright. So? Alright. We can always bring the uh, car back to pick this thing up. When we need it, I mean, it'll just be occupying some space at uh, Fort Howe. Big hiking bag here. I think I want to put all this rotten stuff in my backpack in case I accidentally eat it. it that would kill me. <laughs> oh, Hero Dance 92. Metal work? Oh, farming? Oh. Butter? Sure. There's a lot of rotten meat in there. Another one bites the dust. All right, the uh, the roads are starting to um, be visible again, at least. Oh, look at this place. Hey, Mike, who? Thanks so much for the gift subs. Thanks for the five gift subs. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, this place is done. There's a van here. It's not in amazing condition, but we could strip it for parts. The engine seems to be in really bad shape. Do 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 do. Do 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 Wow, look at this house. Two story house. There's a welder mask in here. Holy crap. We looked uh we looked everywhere for one at the start, if you remember. Ooh. 
Ooh, I like the hanging cabinets. Very nice. No, uh, no jars or lids though. Probably nothing in here. No, of course not. There's a hole puncher in there. There's <gasps> a flight case with a, a guitar in it. Don't want that. There's some gloves here, but I don't think these are better than the leather gloves, right? Are leather gloves the best gloves that you can get? Why are there so many gun cases in kids' rooms? Because <laughs> it's America? Yeah, but I mean... Is that a common thing to uh, to receive as like a, like a Christmas gift? Merry Christmas, I got you a gun. Like, does that actually happen? In Kentucky? <laughs> Shit. Look at this. How'd you know? He's mad I was stealing his gun. Alright, well. Fine, we made some pretty good progress clearing the neighborhood. There doesn't seem to be many zombies up here. We killed a lot of them. But there's only like two or three here and there. We could probably do another house or two. Not like super full up yet. Somebody in here. Where are you? In here? Cooking volume one and a pencil. Oh, what was that? Electronics four? Oh, we read that already. There's a paper clip in here. What's what's the uh it's only ten. Okay. I would have taken that if it was more. Oh, here we go. Car key. Some rotten milk. Rotten milk we can use for a mildew cure, right? So we should hang on to it. Alright, this house is done. I haven't checked the car, but... Okay, good. Let's go home. We found a couple of bits and pieces. Ammo, guns... Pistols? What's the best pistol? 
Because we can get some aiming uh, skill by um, taking a pistol with us, right? Thirty-eight. What's that? De. Can I use the de yet, or is it? Uh, am I not allowed to use it yet? According to the uh, to the gun laws. Is de Desert Eagle? Doing some strength training here. Running while fully encumbered. Think M9 is the best overall. 17 shots of common ammo with a quick reload. So you think M9? food on me? No, I don't think so. I have a busted crafted spear, which I'll just drop um, somewhere. Revolver can get you in trouble with reloads, but man, they are cool. Okay. Thirty-eight special rounds. And Desert Eagle magazines. The goal is aiming skill up and based on per shot. M9 is probably the best way to go. Yeah, I mean, I, it doesn't need to be the uh, the most crazily effective gun. It just needs... I just need something that I can shoot at, um, like, one or two zombies. Like, it's dead around here. I, I just need something that can pretty much uh, reliably kill stuff around here when I'm looting some houses. You know, that's it. That's it, that's it. Another jar lid? I now have eight lids and only five jars. Eurodance 92, I definitely don't have. And what's this one? Over? I don't have this one either. Holy crap! We're getting there. The collection is growing.
I don't need to take the saw around with me. I'll put these shotgun shells in the back here. Who are all these people with jar lids and no jars in their houses? I want to know as well. If you find out before me, let me know because this this simply has to stop. The ratio is completely off. You know? Can I make a chocolate fondue for the strawberries? I don't think so, no. I don't think you're allowed to. I don't seem to have an option for a chocolate fondue. Well, you got enough toilet paper, yeah. Uh, what's next? What are we listening to next? Training materials? CDs? What's this? Bartleby? I don't have that one. Um, I don't have that. Best of the Bojangles? No. Nope. Bible readings, Genesis. I've done it. Bible readings, Revelation. And Sermon on the Mount. And the Crucifixion and Tower of Babel. I have not done. I don't own them either. Bucks Plum Out of Luck. Live. I don't have that. Uh, I do have Constant Worship Volume 2. Right. Let's listen to it. Constant Worship Volume 2. That's not the right device. Son of a bitch. Here we go. Constant. Holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Okay. Constant Worship Volume 2. Completed. Another one bites the dust, baby. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. I moved my bedroom. My bedroom is now in here, in the exercise room. Do, do. I don't want to go to bed too early, so I'm just going to chill. It's snowing again. It's getting pretty cold in here too. I'm going to go to bed at 10 o'clock. A 10 p.m. sleep. Nice. Five months, 16 days, two hours. The roads are going to be completely covered again. That's okay. What we'll do is... Uh... Oh man, all these stale strawberries. We're just going to have to take the boredom hit, I think. I took too many of them out. That's the problem. This spear's got, like, a kill left in it. Probably. And then it's done. Is 
It's a very cold day today. It's minus eight. And boy, is it snowing. We can warm up by doing some physical exercise. That ought to warm us up. There, see? We're unpleasantly hot right now. It's got a little bit of fuel in it. What's next on the list? Uh, there's a couple of houses up here. Check them out. Oh, hello. Anyone else in here? Nope. Trapping volume one. Not needed. Jars and lids. One can opener. Nope. fill up before we left. Whoa. There's the key tar. There's a big shotgun in here. All right. There's a propane barbecue back here. Sure. I left the shells. Which? Did I? The shell suit jacket, you mean? Was there some shells in here? Oh shit, yeah, you're right, there was. Thank you. Yeah, it's still like 24 shots. What's 24 times 4? 96? That could be 96 kills. Right? If you look at it that way. Mailbox check? Nothing. Take these garbage bags. Where are you? Alright, good. do a swap here. You can have this for your trouble. Fanny pack front. Um, we've read this. We've read this. We got it. Oh, man. That's good. We needed it. We needed it and we got it. Nice. Pretty good. Pretty 
pretty, pretty, pretty good. Happy with that. Magnum as well. Oh well, it was right on our doorstep the whole time. Good thing we checked, eh? Could it be, though? Could this be the place? The best place? I'll take the coffee. Holy crap, yeah. No. No jars and lids, sadly. Just wasn't meant to be. Looks like they were doing a little a little spot of sock repair. Alright, that one... That one came up trumps big time. I think that's the last magazine that we need. Oh, yeah. finish these uh, strawberries though I don't want to waste them I can finally now see what plants are gonna kill me excellent okay there's still a couple of houses to do here but we are making some great progress Do this one on the uh, corner here. I'm sure I've been into this house. Have I not? I seem to recall. I mean, the door is open. I have definitely been in it. But have I taken all of the good stuff? Is the question. The last time I came in here, did I know about jam jars and lids. Okay. Well, there's a rifle in here. I guess the last time I came in here was uh, at the point in the uh, playthrough where I didn't really use guns much. Because I seem to have left some guns and ammo behind. place. Nice! Engineer, Volume 1. No jars, no lids. Okay. Cute little house.
Yeah, no, there's nobody here to shovel snow. There's nobody here to help out. The, uh, the audio of the wind blowing does sound uh, a bit like a zombie sometimes, doesn't it? It sounds like when they go like... You know? You know the one? Somebody's in here. I can hear them. Where are you? In here. It's a whole family reunion in here. It's happened again. Remember this time? Remember the time this happened in RimWorld? Holy shit. Cries of the damned indeed. I hate when they have a big family reunion. How to use generators in this house as well? Nice. Okay, I think the moon madness. I think the uh I think screaming in the middle of the house when you can hear them but they haven't activated is the way to go, right? You don't want to get caught out um walking into a room when they haven't activated cuz sometimes they just get the jump on you. That's so annoying, eh? Okay, I can't resist taking the big metal sheets. We'll take them. Oh, look, there's a park ranger um, truck here. That could be a good one. Oh, yeah, I guess I got a propane tank on me as well. Okay. This place is done. It's locked. Oh my god. There's two gun cases here. Might find a key in here. Crap. Gosh. Hmm. 
That does not sound healthy. Okay. Um, it looks okay. There's just no gas in it. Come back and get it. Take gas from the car. Um, I don't think I have a gas tank, do I? In the back? Fudge. We gotta take. Uh, it's 16 in the back of this one. God, it's nothing, eh? Got a siren on it too. Wee 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 wee. Nice. Okay, good. Whoa. Well, we could try to fix it up a little bit too. It's a little bit damaged, but not um, not impossible to fix up. Out of the way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need a bigger yard.
Alright, good. Was it hitting the actual door or was it hitting the side? I thought you could just go... Th Some doors you can just go through, but maybe not those ones. I don't know. Why to know? Why to know? So many guns. Jeez. Turns out there's a there's just a lot of guns everywhere on this map. It's great though, it's good. I'm not complaining. Put that there. Let's see if we got any of these CDs. Moon Madness. We don't have it. Cries of the Damned. We don't have it. That's great. We got a couple of tapes too. Plasticine Land, I'm sure we have it already. I seem to remember, yeah. And The Cook Show, Episode 6... We have it as well. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we have all the cook shows. I can't fit this coffee here. I can't fit it here. I might be able to fit it up here, actually coffee um chocolate oh god it's fucking oh yes i forgot about this that's great okay we got a propane tank as well man oh man how could i forget about that that's what we've been looking for for so long these in the back of the truck okay well some ammo has been acquired today which is really nice we wanted uh, some more ammo <laughs> so much propane has been acquired today as well but it's good because uh, we're unlikely to ever run out there's still a couple of uh, places to um, to check out up there too. I'm glad that we took the time to do this. I know it's a little bit tedious, but uh, we have actually gotten a lot of really useful stuff out of it. So there is that. Reading the Herbalist. Nice. Can I build a sick base now? Yes. I got I've got all the ingredients to build just the sickest base, the most sick base.
Nice. We're losing weight. We're gonna eat this whole salad. Good. Alright. So now that I've read the Herbalist magazine, I should know what these uh, all these things can do. Okay, we've got eight poisonous berries. We don't want to do anything with those. We've got more poisonous berry and more poisonous berry here as well. Okay, so all this stuff can go into the composter. Oh my god. Sorry. If you look in the stack, you'll be able to see which ones are poisonous. The icon just shows the top one. Oh. They, it does, it looks like they're, it doesn't differentiate. doesn't seem to to distinguish between okay so these rose hips nettles dandelions some of them are stale so what does that come under health no um, survivalist cooking Open a jar of cabbage. Oh, thanks. Must be health, right? This one needs comfrey. This one needs plantain. Wild garlic. I can make a splint. I can put alcohol on cotton. Okay. Cooking. We need a tortilla. Butcher bird, butcher rabbit, butcher a small animal. How do I use nettles? Tea. No? Um, prepare a hot beverage from coffee? No? Oh, yeah, you can do this. You can add dandelions, mallow, ginger root. Lime, lemongrass, mushrooms, all these mushrooms, rose hips, thistles, nettles. How many pie fires have we started today? Not a single one. You'll be pleased to hear. Place nails in a box. <laughs> Make a smoke bomb. No, I don't want to make one. Have I attempted a pie since the incident? Uh, I think I made a microwave pie. Yeah, no, uh, oven pie. Sorry, <laughs> that was the uh, that was the incident. I'm gonna go to bed at eleven o'clock. Actually, no, I'm going to go to bed now. I slept in till like 8 yesterday morning, did, didn't I? Lemongrass tea is the best thing in the game for nausea removal. You could drink tainted water and then use lemongrass to get rid of it. Oh, right, okay.
I'm gonna make a pie right now. I'm gonna make a savory pie. I'm gonna add fish. I'm gonna make a fish and potato pie. Yeah, add some salt and pepper to it as well. Nice. Look at that. It's gonna give me plus one thirst. Another successful pie made by me. Mmm. It's time to eat half of it. We're losing weight again. We're still losing weight. We'll eat some uh, some junk food today and try to get the weight back on. Um, okay, good. So what's left? It's a handful of houses um, up here, and uh, and then we're done. Officially done in. Phallus Lake. Looting, I should say. Okay. I'll take the new truck. Let's just see what's good under the hood. Okay, not much. The hood is at 28%. Yeah, this is this is perfectly drivable though, right now, though. 68% engine. Muffler. Heater is not doing too hot. Got a lot of gas. Um... Good glove box, 87%. Happy with that. Really happy. Yeah, I mean, it's. I think this is a really nice ride, actually. It's got a siren on it, too, which is uh, exciting. Sounds great, too. Gosh. So we're just at the end here, right? This is the place that we got it from. Do you know, this weather in, in this game right now, I can smell this weather. Have you had a snow day like this before? Where you can you can smell the outside. It's like one of those really still snowy days. Don't worry, chat. There's nobody over here. Pretty much. We've killed everybody in this area. Like a million times over, even. There's just nobody here. I think the uh, the alarm would have uh, activated any zombies in here, right? 
Let's check for some uh, jars and lids. Ooh, lard. Love me some lard. All right. That one's done. Oh, I didn't mark off this one, but it is done. We've done it. Oh, this window's broken. And what a shit, it's got two windows. Holy crap. Pen and a magazine. There's a dance magazine that's already been read here. Ooh, ooh. Mm, nope. Constant worship. I'm sure we have it, but you know what? Just to be safe, I'll take it anyway and then dispose of it at home. I think that's got to be the, the way to do it, right? We're going... To, we're, we're going for a first person to find all of the VHS tapes and CDs world record. That's what this run is all about. Okay, it didn't start this way, but that's what it has become. So, just so you know. Ew. Somebody left their leash in there. Okay, it's quite cold. It's checked. The burger place has not been checked. I'll go take a look just in case. You never know, right? Mother Earth, we definitely have, but again, I'll stick to the uh, I'll stick to the program. Mother Earth, we definitely have, and I listened to it, like, two nights ago. that one done. Only a couple left. Pretty good. What was Mother Earth about? I don't know. I didn't really pay a lot of attention to it. Oh, philosophical quotes. Could be a good one. Uh, sorry about uh, this chat. I know this is probably pretty boring. But I feel like it's crazy to live here and not have looted all these houses. And we found uh, we found the magazine that we needed as well. So it was totally worth it. This place is super empty. No jars or lids. What the heck? Alright, that one's done. Which leaves us with this final one. 
I'm fairly confident that not a single zombie exists in, uh... Well, I spoke too soon. Looks like there was one, at least. I think I think now though there's none, right? That was the last one. Okay, Phallus Lake is complete. That feels pretty good, honestly. That feels great. We should test it with camping outside under the stars. Um, yeah. Good idea. <laughs> turning Nice. Oh, man. Okay, good. A couple more supplies. Can I have a dramatic car crash for you? Um, what do I have on me here? Oh, yeah. CDs. Constant worship. Oh, this is... Okay, good. Mother Earth. I'm sure we have it. Yeah, Mother Earth. And philosophical quotes. Rumi. Nice. And, of course, raps for Christ. Love raps for Christ. Okay, well, we got some more guns and ammo. It's always a good thing. I think we got some 308, actually. Yeah, we did. Excellent. Let's put that in there. We got more food, but I really don't need more food. I should probably start using up some of this pasta and pasta sauce and stuff. Because we, we've got so, we got too much in here. Like, I, I don't even have room for all this stuff now. Graham crackers, flour, won't even fit. Lard will just about fit. Okay. Three pastas, some pepper. Terry, what was that? Hang on, I gotta check on Terry.
Hey, sorry, I'm back. <clears throat> um, Terry appears to be fine. I don't know. He just made like uh, some like really bird-like noise, but I think um, I think he was just like uh, you know like exhaling through his nose. I think he might have just had something in front of his nose. Did Terry swallow a bird? He was doing some burpees. He maybe he's pranky. He looks. He seems fine. He was just just like looking normal. He doesn't seem like you know. He didn't seem like in distress or anything. He's 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 got such a person. Like it's weird, right? Like you don't expect a tortoise to have a personality, but man, he's. He's just full of personality. It's crazy. How are we doing for weight? 78? Okay, let's finish the rest of this. Alright, that has not helped. We're going to have to bulk up big time on some pasta. We're going to have to put this in the fridge for now, which is... I'll start using up some of this pasta and the sauce as well. Hopefully it'll help us uh, pack on some weight too. That'd be nice. Mm. Oh yeah, I want to go put this uh, 308 ammo. What's the best starter town? Rosewood's really good. I, I, I've i started in Rosewood uh, 12 times. But um, it's good because it's small and you kind of learn the layout of it. And then it's it's less... Uh, every time you, you replay it, you kind of know where you want to go. And you, and you get a sense for where things that you need are as well, which is kind of nice. But then... Um, we spent most of the time out here, like in the, in these like rural areas. This, there's a little town up here with a couple of lakes that I've just completely cleared out. It's taken a while, but, uh, we started clearing out Rosewood as well, but then it started snowing. So we came back, but, um, actually these are all done, right? We, we done those church. We haven't done, uh, the gas station is done. The auto place is done. We, I'm sure we've done it. I don't know if we went to the bar. We did the prison. That was fun. The prison was fun. We haven't looted it, though. We didn't go in. We just uh, we just shot guns outside of it, and we think that pretty much everyone in the prison came out to fight us, but we're not sure. And I was too scared to go in and check. <laughs> I mean, it's it's creepy in there. Don't judge me. Is there a lid factory in Louisville? Sorry, Louisville? Louisville. Lou uh, Louisville. Is there a lid factory or a, a jar factory there? Louisville. Louisville. I, I'm sure it's Louisville. Home of the Louisville Slugger. There's a slaughterhouse? No, I mean in the game. Is the in the game, in this game, is there a jar and lid factory? The grocery shop in Riverside has a bunch of jars and lids? Nope. Unless there's another one. The uh, one I went into had none. Not even one single one. God, 720 calories for one bag of chips. Insane. It's time to bulk up. Chat would have told you 500 times by now if there was a jar and lid factory. 
All right, Dowie. Well, yeah, I'm just checking. 637 calories in this chocolate as well. Okay, we're too full to eat. I did eat. I just ate so many chips. You think I've got that? No, I don't have the protein boost, though. Sadly. Sadly, I don't have that. Okay, let's make some pasta. Oh, man. That's why we haven't been making any pasta. Our water situation is not the best right now. We're having some major, um, major issues with water, right? Pasta. Place pasta in a cooking pot. Let's make two rounds of pasta. We'll make two cooking pots worth of pasta. Cooking pot with pasta. What's the deal? Prepare pasta. Here we go. Okay, let's add uh, some butter. Um, let's get some black beans in here. Actually, let's just add a whole bunch of random veggies. Okay, and then we'll put some uh, marinara. Great. And how about maybe a little bit of tomato paste? Okay, perfect. All right, that's one. One ready? Okay, that's not too bad. Could be better, I suppose. Okay, and let's make the next one. The next one is going to be... Um, beans. Okay, and some tomato paste. Nice. Okay, how's this one looking? Oh, that's pretty good too. All right, two, two pat, I can't even fit them all in the oven together. I gotta cook them separately. Okay, grab this one. Nice, okay, good. And then I can make four bowls of pasta. I'm going to put all these in here, put this in here, um, and then I'm going to eat one full bowl. Nice. Okay, we're gaining weight. Perfect. Okay, great. And we used up some uh, some of our dried ingredients as well. And it's nice, too, because we can conserve our fish. Because uh, those uh, dried packets of beans and stuff like that, you can get quite a few calories out of all that. You make, like, a pasta or you maybe some rice with beans. Or you could even put those beans inside a stew. Oh, yes. God. God, that's nice. That is, that is nice. That is so nice. Okay, let's do some exercise. Yes, good, good, good. Do you think the uh, the um, the Last of Us episode with the flashback for Ellie, where she's with her friend, uh, is is worth watching, or do you think I could just skip that one? You think it? You think I could just skip that one and and watch the rest? Just watch it. <sighs> Total skip, pure filler. How many episodes are there in um, in the in the whole series? Like nine or something? Nine. So is that the second last one?
There's like nine, but only maybe three or four are eventful. No, I'm not pressed for time. It just seemed a bit boring. I'm not normally like that with uh, with shows. You know, like if I'm into something, I'll just I'll watch. I like watching it or whatever. But that episode just uh, had me falling asleep. You didn't find any of them boring. Yeah, I haven't found any of them boring up until <laughs> up until this one's just been a little bit boring. You were on edge the entire show. Yeah, I I don't know. I'm on it. <laughs> Do you know? It's weird though because it's it's always like. Maybe it's because I'm playing this game a lot and I'm just like uh, hiding in the wilderness or whatever. But um, like the the whole show just seems like the slow parts are when they're just like traveling around and because there's no there's no uh, there's no zombies like out in the wilderness. And then it's always like we got to go to a town and then it's like, ah, oh, shit, here we go. And it's not like we have to go to a town. It's like, yeah, we got to go underneath all the... Uh, all the overpasses when we get to the town. Hey, look over there. I can see about 700 burnt out cars. We got to go there. <laughs> it's like, come on. Don't go there. If you got to go to town, you just you go around the outskirts a little bit. <laughs> you, know, you just poke in a little bit. You don't just go like, yeah, we got to go to a tunnel. Yeah, we got to go to town. And not only do we have to go to the town, but we're going to have to check out the sewer system while we're there. Okay, fine. <laughs> I mean, like, it's 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 nerve wracking uh, for no reason. Sometimes it feels like that show. Thoughts on the Halo series? Is there actually a Halo series? There isn't, right? It, or is there? Is the game uh, is the game good? I couldn't get through the game. Oh, Halo's garbage. What's my favorite Monty Python movie? Um, probably Life of Brian. The Halo game is great, but the TV series is garbage. I don't think I've ever played a Halo game. What's that other one that was really popular? People like was it Gears of War or something? People seem to really like Gears of War. How's my pinch nerve doing? It's getting better. It is it is every day. It's feeling a little bit better. It's still a little sore, but I would say it's more like um, achy now than actual actually painful. Watch Shogun. Is is it actually good? I'm not, uh, yeah, Shogun's meant to be amazing. I'm not, um, I'm not a huge fan of the whole, um, like the, like the, the, the Shogun era, you know, like the, um, I don't know, like the aesthetic and everything. Like, like some of it's cool, I guess, but I don't know if I'd want to watch a show about it, you know? You're not usually, but it's actually a great show. Okay. What's it on? Is it a Prime thing or is it HBO? Disney. I saw Succession, yeah, I watched the whole thing. Disney for me. Oh, on um, Stars or whatever. The, uh, the, the, the Stars thing. New X Men is pretty fun. Yeah, I've, maybe I don't know. I'm getting old. I'll, even if I was young, I, the the again like the superhero stuff 
like the Marvels movies, and I'm not into them at all. Nice, 6 a.m. A fine time to wake. It's Christmas Eve. Oh my God, I can't believe it. We survived till we've we've survived till Christmas, unless something really horrible happens today, which I'm hoping it doesn't. Okay, we we're gaining weight now too. This is good. Let's top up with a couple of strawberries. Okay, as is tradition, on Christmas Eve, we will do um, the Shim Sham. And then on Christmas Day, I vote we do the Running Man 3. It's got to be, right? Nice. What can we do that's like kind of kind of special on Christmas, <laughs> apart from falling downstairs because we're doing the shim sham everywhere? Um, what can we do? We're a little bit bored. I think we've been inside too long. We could get drunk. I got some bourbon. Okay, I'll tell you what. Since it's Christmas Eve, let's listen to Eurodance '92. This is gonna be great, by the way. I got high hopes for this. Electronic beats. Electronic beats. <laughs> Blast off. <laughs> nice. Make it loud. No, 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 no. We gotta listen to it quietly. It's a, it's a somber occasion, Christmas Eve. Christmas Day is even worse. We're just going to be... We're going to be drunk as hell. We're going to be drunk as hell and we're going to pass out in our, uh, in our car lot. Say the words. I don't know how to say these words. I don't know how... I, I don't even know what language these words are in. European. These I don't un, I don't know how to pronounce these European words. It this is uh, Eurobeats ninety two by Gunther Oberhauser. Okay, that really helped our boredom. Actually, that was good, really good. Really enjoyed listening to that. Okay, 78 and rising. Just going to check on the Jenny. It's looking fine. Okay, just going to check on the tomatoes. Oh, man, the tomatoes are not doing fine. We're going to have to water them. Okay, I'm going to go fill up all these watering cans. Okay, our water levels are dangerously low now. Okay, I'm gonna water everything. Don't do that. Don't use that water. You got a watering can with water here. What the heck are you doing? What is happening here? Just 
use my own my own supply of water. We gotta get our Christmas broccoli going. Everybody loves Christmas broccoli, don't they? They're like little trees, yeah. Alright. Do 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 Let's go shoot something. Let's take this thing too. Can I fill up all these magazines? Almost. Do some Christmas shooting. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot the roads are like completely effed. Okay, I know what we're going to do. Merry Christmas, assholes! Come on out! So it's our our first annual Santa Claus parade. I don't think there's any zombies left in this area now. <laughs> I haven't seen any. Is there any behind us? Nope. <laughs> In this holy season of prayer and song and laughter, we praise you for the great wonders you have sent us, for shining star and angel's song, for infants cry in lowly manger. Please, bless Richard with axes and ammo. <laughs> Anonymous Christian, thanks so much for the ten. Oh, hey, look! A reveler has come, come out to play! Merry Christmas! Oh. Guns dry! <laughs> Merry 
Merry Christmas! <laughs> Praise the Lord! What a fun Christmas! I wish every Christmas was like this. Is this what Christmas is like in Kentucky? Am I, uh, am I, am I capturing the spirit? We're just trying to gather up some revelers out here. trying to spread some Christmas cheer out on the roads here. And there's nobody behind us. <laughs> there's nobody out here. Try the prison? I don't know if I can drive all the way there. The roads are really bad. They're packed with snow. We're almost one uh, month down in the winter, though. We just gotta... We just gotta slam through January, and I think February it starts to... Uh, snow starts to melt, and it's... I think, I think February is considered spring. Nope, still nobody. Have we been up here before? Yes, we have. I see a reveler. I actually see a couple. Merry Christmas, everybody! Merry Christmas! Santa Claus has come to town! What did you ask for for Christmas? One of the dome. Bam! You're dead. Who's this? <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Whoops. What is this place? Some sort of cafe or something? Oh, yeah, it is. Time to stock up on some Christmas goodies. Hmm. Yes. Look at all these cones. It's an ice cream place. 
These are going to go really well with the rest of the our cone collection. Just need some jars and lids. Hey look, there's a couple of nice Christmas trees out here. Hmm. Yummy. I hear you. I heard that. There's another one. What are you doing? Stop that. This is private property. You can't just turn up and start bashing on all the windows and stuff. It's not nice. Okay, well, I got uh, I got everything I need to make my big Christmas dinner tonight, at least. I'm going to have the usual, just a rotten mango surprise. What is this place? I, I can't I can't handle the siren. It's too loud. It's too much. I guess there's there's like a farm or something down here, I don't know. Turn my hearing aid down. Oh my god, there's nothing up here. Kinda nice in the snow though. You can see zombies a lot better. Merry Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! Woo, 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 woo! Jars and lids? Jars and lids. Not a single one, but some bonus margarine. We've also got a rotten banana in there. Pretty good. Oh, yeah. was outside. Okay, so there's just actually nothing here. There's a shed. It's locked. Looks like there's a little window though. All right.
Let's go home and make our Christmas dinner. We can eat one cone. This car is a death trap? What do you mean? It's fine. This, actually, this car is actually in pretty good condition, believe it or not. Okay, let's see if uh, if we left any zombies on the road behind us here after we did our Santa Claus parade. Part of our annual Christmas festivities. I don't see any um, carol singers. I don't see any revelers. Nope. I think uh, at this point, I actually think Phallus Lake is really, really clear. Like, there is nothing here now. We can make as much noise as we want, and I don't think we'll see another zombie in here. Unless they migrate through, I suppose. I don't know. We did it. Yeah. Rosewood's pretty empty as well, actually. When we were there um, before it started snowing. We did kill quite a few in Rosewood, but it was uh, over kind of near the uh, the school. But up by the prison, it's it's pretty empty. Yeah, the zombies migrate. Yeah, they move around a bit. Alright, let's put all this crap in here. <sighs> Alright chat, I gotta go. Sorry for the late start today. Um, I should be a little bit earlier tomorrow. I don't have an appointment or anything tomorrow but i am recording uh triforce in the morning but as soon as i've done that i'll be here hopefully we get through this winter the snow clears and then we can get back to um clearing out uh rosewood we should finish clearing out rosewood grab all that guns and ammo from all those houses and then uh consolidate and then we'll do the exact same thing up in uh, riverside and we'll start in riverside with that um with the uh with the survivor house the one that we only did half of because we got bitten Why are there water bottles in the compost bin? I don't think there are. There should be some jars in there, though. If the uh, if that stuff... Oh, no. They're bottles. They don't become jars. They become bottles. The remulade. Yeah, we got, we got scratched, yeah. Slightly scratched on our... Um, on our uh, hand. We got a hand scratch. Okay, let's eat this whole bowl of pasta and hopefully we can gain some weight. Yep, perfect. Okay, I'll um, I'll sort all this stuff out uh, tomorrow and hopefully we can go and do some uh, shooting. We're gonna do uh, we're gonna do Rosewood. We're gonna do Riverside and then we'll go back down to uh, Muldron and carry on uh, down there and hopefully we'll have uh, quite a bit of ammo to do that. And then uh, once uh, Muldra is under control, we'll move over to West Point. There's a gun shop and a police station in West Point. So we should get a, another big burst of um, ammo. I think the, the population, zombie population in West Point is quite high. So I don't know. We might die. I don't know. We'll see.
We might even die before that. Who knows, right? The house-to-house -house stuff is really dangerous. So you can get caught out really easily. All right, chat. Rashad lives to see another day. When we play tomorrow, it'll be Christmas. It's Christmas Eve. We, we did a little bit of celebrating for Christmas Eve, and then uh, we'll have a nice day, a Christmas day. Uh, we'll eat some pasta, do some exercise, you know, all the good stuff. Yeah, West Point. I don't. I've never been to West Point, so it could be. Uh, it could be pretty bad, but we'll see. Listen, uh, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you had fun. Sorry for the short stream, but um, I do appreciate all the support. Thanks for the subs and resubs and gift subs. Thanks so much for all the donations. Thank you for watching on YouTube if you watch there. Thanks for watching on Twitch if you watch there. We're, we we stream to both. Uh, if you want to watch any of the vods. They're all on YouTube. You can watch that. They're probably a bit easier to watch on YouTube if you don't want to watch them on Twitch. Uh, but they're available in both places. Um, thank you. Thanks so much, chat. I hope you have a good one. I'll see you tomorrow, and uh, we'll do some uh, we'll do some more um, street clearing and all that fun stuff uh, tomorrow. Yes. Okay, chat. LOL. Lots of love. See you then. Peace. Bye now. Bye.